What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to talk about skill-based matchmaking in Call of Duty World War II. This is starting to become a bit of a hot topic in the community. There's a lot of YouTubers and streamers out there claiming that there is definitely strong skill-based matchmaking in this game in public matches, and it's really starting to blow up. I'm seeing all over Reddit people are ranting about skill-based matchmaking and everything, and I wanted to share my thoughts on it today. So first up, I'm going to go over exactly like what skill-based matchmaking is and how it relates to the Call of Duty community and how it's been received in the past. Then towards the end of the video, I am going to be sharing my opinion on whether or not I feel skill-based matchmaking is in the game. Now keep in mind throughout this video, when I say skill-based matchmaking, I'm referring to strong skill-based matchmaking. Technically speaking, there is skill-based matchmaking in every Call of Duty. This was actually confirmed by a Treyarch developer a couple of years ago. Technically, skill has always been somewhat of a factor. It's just that most years, it doesn't really feel like it's a huge factor. So when I say skill-based matchmaking throughout this video, I'm referring to strong or very strict skill-based matchmaking. So skill-based matchmaking has been a very controversial topic in the past with Call of Duty. Specifically, in Advanced Warfare, this is when the topic really blew up because people felt that the skill-based matchmaking was very strong in that game, and it may have been. I, I definitely see some evidence that pointed to the fact that it was quite strong in that game. And for the most part, it seems the Call of Duty community does not like strong or strict skill-based matchmaking in public matches. Now, I was going to go into great detail about all the arguments against skill-based matchmaking and then the arguments for skill-based matchmaking. I actually already recorded that and then decided the video is way too long. So instead, I'm just going to kind of gloss over it. Keep in mind, these are not my opinions. These are just the arguments that I see for or against. The people against skill-based matchmaking, first off, their argument is they don't want skill prioritized over connection. So if there's two different lobbies, one of them has an amazing connection, one of them has an acceptable connection according to the algorithm, they don't want to be placed in that acceptable connection because their skill level matches that lobby better than the other connection where they could have had the best possible connection experience. Another argument is for variety. If you're a really skilled player and you keep getting placed in lobbies where every other person in the lobby is right around your skill level, if you want to be able to compete, if you want to be able to do really anything in that lobby, you kind of have to stick to a certain set of guns and a certain type of play style. You can't just be running around with a shovel and going for camo challenges. You can't be going for headshots with some of the more difficult weapons to get headshots with because you're just going to get annihilated constantly by these higher skilled players. So variety for you just goes out the window. Every single game is going to play the same, basically. And finally, even though there are a lot of other ones, like I said, I'm kind of glossing over this. Another big argument I see against it is this is what ranked play is for. If you want a competitive experience, if you want to rank up, and you want to be able to see what rank you are, which kind of goes along with this, with strong skill-based matchmaking in pubs, you don't know if you're the top 1% or the top 5% right now and you're playing in a top 5% lobby. You have no idea if you're playing in that lobby. With ranked play, you see what your rank is, you have something to grind towards, you have something to work towards, and in those situations, you should be playing in a highly competitive environment. So those are the most common arguments against skill-based matchmaking. The big argument for skill-based matchmaking, I think it's really the only argument, but it is a very large argument for skill-based matchmaking or strong skill-based matchmaking, is you want to encourage new players to join the franchise and continue to play multiplayer. If somebody picks up the game for the first time and you throw them into a random lobby that isn't matched based on skill, there is a chance they're going to run into a veteran player or a few veteran players in that lobby and they're just going to get stomped on repeatedly, not have an enjoyable experience, and then they're never going to come back and play the game again. And for me, I kind of see both sides of it. I tend to lean away from skill-based matchmaking in public matches with Call of Duty. I really do strongly feel that that's what ranked play is for, but I also do understand wanting to shelter the newer players and encourage them to continue playing the game. This is why I feel like instead of strong skill-based matchmaking, they should have had more of like a combat training playlist where you can only access that playlist if you're below, let's just say like level 30. Everybody that's level 30 or lower can play in that playlist. It allows them to get a feel for the game. They're playing against other people that are also inexperienced with the game. And then once they reach that level cap, they get thrown into the mix with everybody else. Most of the lobbies are going to be populated with average players because that's how statistics work. And then there's going to be some veteran players in there and there's going to be some other bad players mixed in. I think that is the best system for Call of Duty public matches. It keeps that sense of variety and every time you get into a lobby, you don't know what you're going to get. Most of the time, like I said, it's going to be average players, but you might get a few more veteran players that game or you might get a few more noobs that game. You don't know if you're going to have a highly competitive experience where you have to try your absolute hardest and even then you might not come out with the win, or you don't know if you're going to end up dropping a V2 rocket that game. 
That's part of what people love about Call of Duty. It's that experience of chasing that high and you never know what you're going to get. With very strict skill-based matchmaking, you pretty much always know what you're going to get. A highly competitive experience. So now that we have all that out of the way, is strong skill-based matchmaking currently present in COD World War II? Personally, I don't believe there is. Now, I'm not claiming as a fact that it is definitely not strong skill-based matchmaking right now. All I'm saying is I don't see enough proper evidence to support the fact that there is strong skill-based matchmaking in this game. I've seen a lot of the complaints from YouTubers and streamers, and a lot of the screenshots and stuff they've been posting, but for the most part, what I'm seeing is a confirmation bias. They're actively looking, whether that be consciously or subconsciously, for evidence of skill-based matchmaking. When they get into a difficult lobby, they're definitely going to be screenshotting that and saying, here we go, that's my proof, that's skill-based matchmaking right there. When in reality, you're still going to be running into tough matches, especially when there's parties present. So, so far, all I've seen is anecdotal evidence that points towards skill-based matchmaking, and that's not enough for me. I'm not seeing proper evidence that it exists, and until I do, I don't believe it is currently in place. That's not me saying it's impossible that there's currently really strong skill-based matchmaking in the game. It's absolutely possible that it's there, and I'm just not seeing it. But until we get proper evidence, I don't think we should be claiming, as if it's a fact, that there's strong skill-based matchmaking in the game. It's totally fine to have this belief that there's strong skill-based matchmaking, but especially as influencers, we shouldn't be telling our audience that we know 100% that strong skill-based matchmaking is in place. It's causing a lot of people to freak out, there's rants all over the place from people that really don't know for sure. They have some anecdotal evidence and that's it, and this can be really harmful to the community overall. This could turn people away that start thinking this is a fact when there isn't enough evidence to support this. One interesting thing I wanted to tack on to the end here is for some of these YouTubers and streamers, I've seen them completely contradict themselves with this. And this is part of the reason I feel there's a lot of confirmation bias going on here. Some of these streamers, one moment they'll be complaining about really strong skill-based matchmaking, and then the next moment they're complaining about the fact that they have potato teammates or thumbless teammates and they show a screenshot of them having to carry this team of just terrible players to victory or trying to carry the team and losing the game. These statements contradict each other. When you have games like that where you have thumbless teammates, I'm using air quotes here, teammates that aren't very good at the game and they're doing just terrible, they're going like 3 and 20 in a game consistently, this is evidence against skill-based matchmaking. This is simply evidence for a team balancing algorithm where it tends to put the better player on the same team with the bad players in order to balance out the match in an attempt to make a more fair outcome to the game. Now, whether you agree or disagree with that team balancing algorithm, that is evidence against skill-based matchmaking and a lot of these people don't realize that they're contradicting themselves. So again, just want to reiterate, I'm not claiming that skill-based matchmaking is absolutely not in the game, and I'm also not claiming that you're wrong if you believe strong skill-based matchmaking is in the game. I'm simply saying we don't have enough proper, non-anecdotal evidence that it is in the game at the moment. So with that, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about this? First off, what are your opinions on skill-based matchmaking? Do you think it's a good thing or a bad thing in Call of Duty public matches? And second, do you currently believe that there is strong skill-based matchmaking present in this game? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.